Well, we live in North Stephen, Colorado, and uh, it's called the High Plains Desert. We only get, uh, I think, an average of 13 inches of moisture a year. It's hot in the summertime and very cold in the winter. Colorado isn't a big dairy state, but we get a lot of milk. There is a lot of uh, feed yards in Colorado that raise heifers for other dairymen in other states, just because the heifers will they'll do so well growing in our climate that we have here. My grandfather in 1938 bought the piece of land and they always milked a few cows. And myself and my brother and my two sisters were in 4-H. We started showing uh, cattle at the uh, county fair. And, and at that time, we had some prominent breeders in Colorado, Pacamar Farms, Boulder Valley, Eldew Dairy. They'd have a calf sale every year for kids to purchase registered animals. And we started purchasing registered animals to show in 4-H. That's kind of where the start was. And then from those cattle, we registered them. And then quite a few years ago, when they started the second uh, herd book of uh, upgrading, we started upgrading grade cattle into registered cattle. And we just built our herd and, and grew it. And right now at the dairies, we're on our fifth generation of uh, grandkids running around. And uh, the dairy that we're sitting in right here is in 2011 came up for sale and my uh, two sons and two daughters invested in it and purchased it and we're almost finished. We're still building on a, this new cross vent facility that we're sitting in right now. It's called a box barn because it's just a big square barn. Uh, everything's fully automated. The, uh, the, uh, like I said, they're milking with robots so that's fully operated, fully controlled. And then for cow comfort, there's some uh, brushes that hang down. The cow can go up there and get scratched on those. The only thing that's not fully automated in the barn here is we're still we're feeding with the feed truck. Right now, we're in expansion mode. And then that rest of hosting is helping us make a lot of production because we got to sell milk in order to get an income. And uh, we have been able to sell, you know, our heifers in the past, lots of heifers in, in a year's time to help increase our income. And we've always got a above market value for those heifers just because we can give the records to the buyer and say, here's what the last three generations or four generations of this cow family has done. And this is what this heifer's predicted to do. So we breed cows, good foot and legs, udders, lots of width in the chest and in the rump try to really put a lot of emphasis on the, the udder and feet and legs so that way she can uh, move around where she needs to go and has the capacity to give a lot of milk. We sell pounds of butter fat and pounds of protein is how our check is. And with the higher volume of milk that we get, having some good components with the Holstein cow, we can produce more pounds per cow of protein and butter fat than the Jersey does. Raising a family in agriculture or on a dairy teaches them and it teaches the, the kids a lot of responsibility that things have to be done. Yeah, this is optimism in the full force here, really. <laughs>